Welcome back to Almost Machining. What I have here is a coolant guard with a KLE grinder that I've fabricated together and it's fairly modular. I should be able to put it on, take it off, seal it up with a little bit of silicone and perform wet work on a machine that really isn't set up at all for wet work. So let me get you over here by the grinder, show you how this goes on. I'll seal it up and carry on with the other projects. So here's the closer look at the grinder. We've got the mag chuck here. And I don't really have a way for the coolant to run down the side right here in front of the chuck. And the back side is even, is even more reduced. So if I was to put something on here, it would, have to, it would take an extensive amount of silicone to hold it in place. And I still run the risk of having coolant going everywhere. So we've got the pieces that we've created. Let's get to putting those on now. So the first one is the back guard on the left hand side and this piece just clips in behind the screw that holds this in place. It takes a little bit of bending but it locks in here and then the front piece I didn't really have a tall enough piece so I just stitched two of them together and it, it's bent. The piece is bent because I had to work with the areas here so that it fits incorrectly including some of the odd uh, shapes here. I don't have a way to bend steel and it also just locks in and pushes down behind the screw that holds this guard in so now I've got this cover and this cover in place. The next piece this one is going to slide on and um, it's mostly angle iron with an extended bracket on the back. I was originally going to cut it low, but I decided not to. Came back, <laughs> welded this back together, and I have the, the cutaway for the, for the wheel area. And it just slides on with the piece in the back going behind the other piece. And then these areas here, I have to kind of push in on the back. There we go. I've got this coming um, in the back side. The lips overlap. So from the inner piece on the back side, this side is sliding in behind it. And then the top piece is in front of it. And there'll be some areas in here that I'll be adding a little silicone to, filling these up with silicone inside of here. And that keeps, it should allow for the flow of the coolant to go back towards the back. I have um, a bracket that's held on with a C-clamp and then the hose connection that will just go to a basic pump and then a, on the side where the drain is going back into um, my coolant tank. So let's get the other piece in place. And this is just the, the front guard, which slides in. I have these two catches here, and then some catches on the bottom as well. So that once it's in, you can't just, you, you, it's going to flex. The whole, the whole metal piece is going to flex, but it's completely aligned. And this gives me full range of motion, at least up to the edge of the wheel with the table all the way forward. And then about the same on the on the other side. I may have to modify it for this piece over here as I can bring the wheel a little bit beyond the table. And of course, once I get the guard fabricated for the front, that it, it may hit here. And there may be some other changes to, to make, but the base the base guard <coughs> is as it is. And I'm I, I'm really I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. Here's that section where the bottom angle bracket piece that goes back behind the lip of the mag table sits on top of the angular piece that sticks back into the grinder center. So it's on top and then slid it into the groove where this piece writes back behind here and then the top piece is on top. I'll add silicone to fill in the small hole here around this edge 
and up this side here so that as the water comes down the track it just comes right back out and then being able to look down inside of the unit so this is about the head height look and what you're going to be able to see while looking down into that area and hopefully I'm not I'm not left with too much splashing the inside piece on the front side here this area we have the down slope and then the run into the trough and then back down there's a better look at the hose clamp connecting onto the bracket and the bracket runs down over to uh, just a shut off valve hope you enjoyed this I'm gonna silicone this up carry on thanks for watching